The Lewis structure of iron 3 oxide has iron, a metal from the left side of the periodic table, bonding with oxygen, a non-metal from the right side of the periodic table. When a metal and non-metal combine, you end up with an ionic compound, which means there's a transfer of electrons from one to the other. Iron 3 oxide tells you that the charge on iron is plus 3. That means if you're drawing the beginning atoms that you will use to make the Lewis structure, you need to draw them with three valence electrons. There's an Fe, and there's the three valence electrons. Oxygen is in group 16 of the periodic table. All of these come with six valence electrons. So you can draw yourself an O with one, two, three, four, five, six valence electrons. Now, I know I gave you the formula here, but your teacher may not have. Iron, the metal, will give away its electrons, gives one away here to pair up with that electron from oxygen, gives that one away here to pair up that unpaired electron from oxygen. Now, oxygen has eight valence electrons, the six that it brought plus two from iron. That completes its octet, but unfortunately iron still has an extra electron. So if you bring in a second oxygen with its six valence electrons, iron can give its extra electron away to that new oxygen. Now this iron has given away all its electrons, which is what metals want to do, but this oxygen still doesn't have a full eight. So in that case, you need another iron with its three valence electrons. Remember, it's three because the charge is three. And so that electron from iron will go to that oxygen to complete its octet. Unfortunately, the iron still has two leftover electrons, but the addition of one more oxygen will provide a place for those to go. So those two extra electrons from iron go to that oxygen. Now all the irons have given away all their electrons and all the oxygens have gained two each. That makes it eight valence electrons or a full octet for those. Now, the final Lewis structure here has the Fe's written with no valence electrons because after all, they gave away all their electrons and a plus three charge. You may have to draw that twice to show that it's happened to two separate iron atoms. Oxygen will be even more annoying. Each oxygen brought six valence electrons, but now has eight. There's the full octet and a charge of minus two for the two gained electrons. It, there are three oxygens involved here, so I have to write this out three times, each with the minus two charge and I'm putting the square brackets around it because we always do that for ions, Lewis structures. Cool, there's your complete Lewis structure. Now you might be allowed to take a shortcut and simply draw yourself Fe with the plus three charge times two because there are two of them. And the O with its eight electrons in its outer shell the minus two charge, and there are three of them. This still demonstrates that you know what the ions are and how many there are and what charge is, but, you know, ask your teacher if you get full marks for that. This is the official Lewis structure. There it is. Best of luck.